Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a coos. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Welcome back to another Mass Effect video. It is your boy Daddy Mac and today we are probably going to do a couple of the missions. Now we did get a communication relay from I think it was the ambassador or something like that and we were informed of a, an alliance homing beacon that we're going to go ahead and investigate. Now the thing with this homing beacon and what's so serious about it is that apparently this is a bomb large enough um, similar to the bomb that we used at Hiroshima back in the 20th century. So we're going to go ahead and investigate this matter and hopefully we don't get blown up in the process. You guys missed that episode where we kept getting blown up by the mines. Make sure you check it out. It was a pretty interesting episode. It looks like there's another anomaly that did not appear at the map. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. And we'll go ahead and check out the other one. This is probably... I don't know what this is. Oh, look at this. It's a corpse. Let's see what's going on with this corpse. Brushing away at the carbonization on the door of the contragravity speeder, you can see the Nezo brand name. Judging by the charring, the wreckage here... Or the wreckage has been here since... The star's last variable peak. The corpse is wearing the remains of an expensive suit and what appear to be melted antique aviator goggles. Hey. So the map was updated. What was it updated to? Do not ask me. We did bring Tally on board. And we also brought uh, Ashley. Let's see how they treat us during this journey. Probably will be useful, I'm hoping. We learned a lot about the Asari too. The Asari apparently can breed with any uh, with any uh, species. My apologies. They can breed with any species, and they, do, they don't need to mate. They can honestly breed with just emotional uh, emotional connection. Look, there's another corpse here. This is an artifact, though. Easy, right here. Turian insignia. Okay. Now we take a look at the debris, and we'll take a look at that Alliance homing beacon and see what's up. We clearly see out in the distance. What's over here? Enemies? No, there would be red. There would have been red dots here. Maybe something for us to loot. Oh, do I remember this mission? I think I remember this mission. Okay. If I recall, yep, I totally remember this mission. Okay, this is going to be an interesting one, to say the least. We're gonna go ahead and salvage this crash probe. Just give it a moment. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, and we're gonna go to the final section, which is the homing beacon. And you guys are going to see a lot of action right away. I actually thought I was recording. Well, I was recording. But my desktop didn't record any audio for some reason. So we missed a little bit of the beginning of this uh, section. Of this little side quest here. And again, to recap, it has to do with an explosive that we sent out a long time ago. And if we somehow rediscovered it, we could receive the signal that it's here and so here we are 
It's not gonna matter where we land, spoiler alert. Mine shaft. That's the source of the signal. A trap. It has to be. Yeah. This thing didn't crash. Somebody moved it here. They may not know what they have. Let's find it before they set it off. All right, Shepard. Let's go ahead and just take a look at our squad real quick. Tali needs to be updated, or upgraded, I should say. Get her some first aid. Maybe some pistol. We want to make sure she's proficient at that, and shotguns. And we'll leave that as is for now. And then we got to... It's going to be a fun battle. A very fun battle. So, tornado, and you're going to get the Avenger. There you go. Meanwhile, I have the handgun, and we're going to keep the handgun, we're going to go ahead and explore. Man, I, I clearly remember this episode, or this mission, I should say. Okay, I don't think there's going to be any action right off the bat. Not that I remember, at least, but we're still going to go ahead and keep our handgun handy. No pun intended. And explore a little bit. I want to see if I can loot anything around here. It doesn't look like I can. There's a control there. Okay, and that's where the mission is. So I want to go straight first. And it's locked. Yeah. We're just going to head over here. It should trigger a cutscene. In just a moment. Shepard, at last. You have me at a disadvantage. My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? In most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. That's correct. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the Verge. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator. The instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed! I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? We'll find a way out of here. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? We find a way out. Someone up there needs my boot up his ass. See if there's anything in here we can use. Yeah, gotta disable the bomb. Only got a few seconds. This is actually pretty easy encryption. Okay, here's another one. And final one. Okay, that's alright, don't panic. There you go. Bomb is disabled. Okay. This is where the action begins, if I am not mistaken. Oh, I got a feeling. Okay. Here we go. 
Did I see? Yeah, right here. Oh, I guess nothing. So, uh, based off of my knowledge here, we're simply going to grab this. And as you can see, here are our outliers. Okay. We should probably start. There's the leader right there. We'll kill him first. Gotta head back, wait for my stuff to cool down. We'll shoot him again. There's that leader look. The recoil on this gun is pretty heavy. We're at a pretty safe position. Come on, get something. There you go. Leader's down. Okay. We'll wait for that one. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Who shot me in the head? Okay. Where is that guy? I think it was, uh, yeah, the Krogan. Kill the Krogan. I'm just gonna keep shooting at it. And we're at a pretty safe spot, so we're just gonna stay here and count. There you go. He's not fully down yet. So that's the guy that killed me the last time. Or shot me in the head with the damn sniper rifle. Let's see if we can get him again. Oh, killed him. Yeah. Gotta watch the Krogan. We'll get this guy first. Got a clear shot on me. There you go. There's the Krogan. Pretty easy, we got the high ground. And we killed the leader right away, so watch the sniper. Guy's not dead yet. Kill the Krogan. This guy needs to die already, man. There you go, Krogan's down. Is that a headshot? Yes, sir. One more. One more. Oh, come on. Yeah, just a few more people. A couple more. Right there. Headshot. One more. Down. Oh, there's two Krogan. No wonder the first one didn't die. Okay. They don't got a clear shot on this dude, so we're gonna go here. Still not a clear shot. There you go. This is a good shot right here. Not really. There you go. Double team his ass. Yeah, I say we go down. Now I'm ready. Three against one. We should be able to kill this guy. Lost shield. Come on, dude. Shield boost. Okay. Go at his ass. There you go. He's down. Helia went through a lot of trouble to draw you here. A pity it ended like this. For him, at least. Now that you're above ground, your suit radio has re-established connection with the Normandy. Time to get the hell out of here. I agree. Yeah, I clearly remember this episode. And we were well prepared. We have an advantage simply because we've already played this game before. So we have more or less an idea of what to expect and what is this? What is there for me to investigate here? Nothing it appears. I don't know why there's an X marker here. Oh, that's not our ship. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Engine debris, mercenary camp. And our destination. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We landed at the... At some kind of Holoon class ship. 
Empty. Everything shut down. Only basic life support is running. Ah, I don't think it's empty, guys. Not that I remember, at least. There's probably some husk around here. Hear that? We're not alone. Okay. Squad? I think what we're gonna have to do here is equip a couple of good shotguns. Garrus is the one that needs a good shotgun. We'll do that. Okay. Watch the husk. Woo! No accident. The whole place could be a trap. I think it is, Rex. There's gotta be husk around here. I know it. I think I remember it. Gotta keep a sharp eye. Look at this. That keeps catching me off guard. Too quiet. Yo! Who's blowing those up? I don't trust this quietness here. Okay. I'll just move forward. I vaguely remember this mission. Let's go over here first. Yeah, I don't remember this mission. Eris, do your thing. They say Jacob's gone. They say his brain isn't functioning anymore. And they want to shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him, but it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless, so damn angry. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't. Okay. Jacob is probably dead. And so is the lady in the recording. Let's go here. There's probably another computer. Is this Jacob? That machine's keeping him alive. No brain activity. He's dead. His body is nothing but an empty shell. No point leaving him there like a vegetable. Your call, Shepard. But maybe we should wait until we know more about what's going on before we do anything. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I do not remember the side mission, not even gonna lie. Hit this locker first. deprived of oxygen for too long there's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity it's what he would want I'm more worried about Julia now she's showing signs of severe depression I gave her some meds that should help but I better warn the captain so Julia is the one from the previous recording and Jacob is on that life support machine we're not alone I know it what is this is this a trap? Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you- ah! Is Julia a zombie? Is she over here? Watch it. Oh, yep, she's clearly there. That's clearly her. Watch her. Hey, do your things, guys. Watch her, watch her, watch her, watch her. Oh, you guys killed her for me. Was that Julia or was that a ghost? Okay. We're just gonna disconnect this guy. Turn it off. It wasn't easy, but that was the right thing to do. Thank you, Garrus. Hmm. Yeah, I clearly... I, I do not remember this mission. There's a cool little side quest. It, 
way out of here. Those, things, those damn things keep blowing up on me. Just avoid them. Let's get out of here. Message coming in. Patching it through. The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Margos. Communications failing. Life support and emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. First things first, we're gonna look at our map. There's a couple of anom anomalies. We're gonna go here first. This is probably a mantis or whatever it's called, but we will find out very soon. Oh man, this, this terrain is very rocky. I don't really like rocky terrains. Yeah. Very rocky. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh my god, dude. Go, go. Bro. Oh, why, why am I struggling when I can go this way? Okay, about half an hour later, not really, we've come across this Turian corpse, which is probably going to lead us to a Turian insignia. Easy. I don't like this terrain. Oh my goodness. Don't flip. There you go. That works. We're just gonna have to jump off things in order to get places around here. At least that's what it looks like. Almost control. Man, my passengers probably think I'm garbage. This planet kind of reminds me of Mustafar for my Star Wars fans. Kind of like it. Man, can we go any slower through this terrain? Did we take the wrong? Yep, we definitely did. Now we gotta climb up again. Okay, yeah, this is not as bad as the initial, you know, climb. But look at how bad this terrain is. And this is what I was talking about yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? When I said that these things can get pretty dang rocky. Yeah, electronics. Who's my electronic specialist, Caden? Yeah, can you overload this? Yes, you can. Go with the flow. I'm surprised we did that pretty flawless. Yeah, onto the final task here, and then we get out of this wretched planet. I actually don't like this planet. Look at how mountainy it is. Can't really traverse as smooth through here. Look at this, man. I would hate to be in this rover right now, straight up. Okay, let's see. Still got a long way to go. Nope, I do not want to go through there. Golly. Can we get out of here already? 
I hate to sound like a negative Nancy, but come on. Oh, nope. That, we messed it up. Yeah, we definitely flipped there. <laughs> we took some damage. Okay, so we got something to mine over here. We're definitely going to stop by here. Before we do anything else. Is it worth it? I mean, this planet is garbage. Come on, man. Oh my god. Oh, we just missed the deposit. It was this little thing right here. Okay, get off of there. We'll return there in just a moment. Easy decryption here. We're getting better at this. Don't take your gun out, no need. There's the downship. This must be the place. Careful, Commander. Yeah. It's oh. a trap! Drones. Oh, death. This is going to be fun. Check this out. You know what? Was that a Star Wars reference, by the way? It's a trap? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny if it was. Get rid of these dang turrets. They're out of my range. Okay. Get rid of these guys first. There you go. Get rid of this thing. You can damage me all you want. Don't do anything to me. What's up, buddy? Yeah, these these aren't gonna do anything. There you go. That was pretty easy. Though it wasn't oh okay. So much for us looking at this probe. It's definitely gone now. Yeah. What a trap. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. Let's check this planet out, see what it has to bring to us. So there's some debris, there's a research outpost and an anomaly. I think we're gonna check out the anomaly first, it's probably a mantis. I've been saying that a lot. Oh, is this, that's not the anomaly we were after. This is a different anomaly, let's check it out. This one here is probably a mantis. Let's see. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? There's a crate. Let's keep the rover near us. Scavengers who made this camp are gone. They seem to have abandoned it abruptly some time ago. Okay. Interesting. We're gonna need all the experience we can get, especially for the boss battle. Keep. I've, I've um, foreshadowed the boss battle. And I don't want to spoil too much. Obviously, you guys are going to know it's... Actually, I won't spoil anything. But it's a pretty good boss battle. One of my favorite boss battles. And I really fell in love with this game. Not only because of the boss battle, but the terrains. And just the plot behind it. It's one of my favorite games of all time. And the decision making that you can do. It really... Um, you guys are probably going to be shocked. But I've never played any... Fallout. No Fallout game. And with the Fallout series coming out, it kind of inspired me in a way to play this game, and I know that sounds kind of weird because it has nothing to do with one another. Oh, not this again. But, it's really... I've, I've heard that... Oh, come on now. 
I've heard that you can go ahead and do your own decisions in Fallout, and it's kind of made me want to play this game. So here we are playing Mass Effect. Wait a minute. There's probably going to be some, uh, some husk in here. Yep. Bring out our guns. Yeah, this smells like husk. We've got to start selling some of our things. Eventually your inventory will get full. But that's how you get Omni Gel too, so it works out. All of our level 1 things we're probably going to get rid of. Yeah. See what enemies we got here. Garrus still has a Lancer? I thought I gave him a different gun. Equipment. Yeah, we'll give you a Raptor. Yeah, Raptor, there you go. Okay. I'll make the first move. Yep. Definitely some husk. Yeah. Before we do anything, we've upgraded everybody. Yeah. Oh, they found us. Not the, not the left. Watch the left. Oh, I love this shotgun. Oh, watch it. Those things will degrade your shield right away. There you go. Watch it. Watch it. There's one more. There you go. Who got hit by one? There you go. That's all of them. Yeah, I had a feeling there was going to be some husk here just because of the uh, posts that were outside. Let's see what's in here, though. There's got to be more things in here. I really like the soundtrack to this game, too. It's very eerie. More husk. Okay, here we go. Start with you. Hi, buddies. Knock this guy down. There you go. Don't let him near. There's another one that's down. It's actually pretty easy with the shotgun. You just get away from them. Yeah. We loot real quick. Why does this mission also ring a bell? More crate? We'll go this way and then we'll go back. This place rings a bell. And I do not remember what bell it's ringing. There's a malfunctioning object here. Am I missing something? I'm gonna go back. Something is being jammed. Oh! Geth. Yeah, here we go. There you go. One's down. There's a trooper. Up. Oh, shoot! Oh my god, that thing was scary. There you go. There's another one over here. There's a trooper. I'll flank, I'll flank, I'll flank. There you go. There's gotta be... The sniper's dangerous. Okay. Over here. I hate snipers. Okay, what else do we got here? Another sniper. That one ain't getting me. Oh, another one. Another super. Easy. Look at all the credits we're getting, man. Pretty dang sweet. Okay, I want one right there. I want another one there. And I'll come flank this guy. Hi, buddy. There you go. Easy money. Literally, easy money. Okay. I don't know what the purpose of this mission was. 
but we are getting out of here. Okay. Yeah, that's all we gotta do, these things. You can try to bring all the geth you want. This is easy. Cakewalk. Bring them up. I don't care. There you go. Oh. Okay, we made it to a very, very cold map. And I guess we're attacking Geth today. That's the name of the episode, Attacking Geth. I don't know what the name of the episode is yet. Probably just the Geth. I'm trying to start the name of every episode with the word B. I think it just, oh, this is gonna be a mantis, isn't it? Bring it, where is it? A Ma, that's the right name of these things. Get away from me. Yeah, I really don't like those things. I mean, I do like them, but not really. Almost rammed me. Yeah, got rid of one. Let's see if we can get any more. Yeah! With style. There you go. Where is it? I feel it near. There you go. Is there one more? Nope. Getting me. Yeah. Work on your aim, brother. Okay, let's see what we got. It's gonna, oh, you wanna attack me, huh? Right there, there's another one. Easy. There you go. Easy. Watch it. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Ooh. That's close, that's close. Real. There you go. Yeah, this thing is... Pretty tough sometimes. Look. Ah, oh, dang it. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. There you go. It's dead. Okay. That was a little too close for comfort. Can we get off? Okay. I mean, I'm in level terrain. There you go. Just need a repair. The vehicle and the human corpses showed the telltale signs of Geth weapons fire. The Geth have been mangled by the Thrasher Mal. At least they got what's coming to them. Yeah, that's only the beginning because they got to deal with me next. We're going to go straight. Oh, why do I do that? There you go. Jump! Get up there! Okay. Where's that outpost? Am I missing something? Okay, this is getting close. Oh, there they are. Well, hello there! That's a Colossus. That's definitely a Colossus. We'll just get rid of it. No biggie. Uh, now we're distorted. There you go. One's down. Colossus are always a little harder just because they have more health. Oh, that's great. Just uh, land on their face like that. That's fine, I guess. Oh, hi. Silly of you guys to think you're going to do anything with those weapons. Okay, we got a few more. Is that all of them? No. Now is that all of them? Where are you guys? Oh, hi. That's all of them. Oh, they're bringing more again? Oh, they land in pods. Okay. What are you guys saying? Easy. Oh, look at that. That's a prime. Those things are pretty scary. You're not even gonna lie. Look how big these primes are compared to the other guys. There you go. <laughs> Man. That was cool, I just jumped and blew them all up. I love this game. Oh, I remember this map, I think. Okay. So there's an anomaly 
There's the signal and the get outpost. We're gonna go from the left. Now, as this thing was loading, I was kind of thinking to myself, because the Geth have a self-conscious, do you think they are ever afraid to die? Or as Vegeta says, do they feel fear? Because though these things can think for themselves and they're pretty dang smart for the most part from what I can see, it would be interesting to see or know if they have feelings or emotions. Now they probably don't because they're artificial intelligence, right? But it makes me it makes me wonder, does artificial intelligence have any kind of emotion? Like you see all of these artificial intelligence projects in real life, and you see these interviews. If you guys have Instagram, you probably have seen them on Instagram before. Not before I flip. Um, do you think these things have some kind of and I'm completely going the wrong way. Right? Yep, I'm just going the wrong way. I guess we'll do that. But while we work to get things up, do you think they have emotions? Like, I don't know. It's very scary because it's it's rumored that artificial intelligence will probably eliminate us in about 200 years. I saw this article. And don't believe everything you read on the internet, obviously. But it really is food for thought. Can I please get up here? Can I just traverse through this comfortably? Like, why do these things gotta be chalky like this come on come on come on make it up there there you go Oof, I'm literally sweating this out right now because I hate this look there's some geth up here missed hi you can shoot me all you want not gonna work. Oh, hi, Geth. It's so nice to see you all. Bam! <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Did you just see how that Geth went flying? Get rid of this gunner. There you go. We're gonna run this one over, too. Get out of my sight. Easy. These are mature are a walk in the park for the most part. There you go. There's one more armature over there. Oh, come on. Is that an armature? Yep, that's definitely an armature. Let's see. This one, we're just gonna shoot from a distance. There you go. Okay. We're gonna hit this thing up. We're gonna deactivate this transmitter. The Geth Array is transmitting regular data bursts on an encrypted channel. Using the Alliance's own FTL common convoy is... It's not clear whether the data is being di directed, nor the content of the signal. We turned it off. I really hope you guys like these side quests, because I really want you all to capture how beautiful this game is. Like, look at the terrain. Yes, I'm complaining about maneuvering through it. But right now it's not so bad. It's when you start trying to get on top of mountains and stuff like that that make it hard, <laughs> to say the least. Come on, Billy. Billy the goat. Oh, that's not at all where I wanted to go. Yeah, we're just gonna go to our map. Are we going the right way? Where is this outpost? Yeah, this outpost is not in the direction that I was going to. We can probably blast them if I'm up here, though. Yep, we totally can. Well, hello! There's one. Just waiting for my stuff to reload. There's another one. They can shoot me all they want. Oh, did I get rid of that one? I did not. Can I zoom in? Oh, I guess I did. You guys can try to get rid of me. You won't do anything at all to me. It's this easy. You guys make it this easy for us. Is that one dead? It is now. There you go. Where are there more? Where's the other one? Oh, it's the sniper. Of course it's the sniper. There you go. They're all dead now. They're probably gonna summon another ship. Yep. 
Bring the armature, bring the Colossus, bring the Prime, bring whatever you want. They all dying. There you go, there's two. Right here is gonna be another two. Here's another two. Oh, you guys are making this too easy. You guys are funny. Oh, I gotta destroy the ship. That's what I gotta do. I'm a dummy. Where are you going? Don't go. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Hi. Nice to meet y'all. Oh, you guys are very silly. You guys ain't doing anything with those weapons. Okay, maybe these guys will do some damage. These troopers. There you go. Here's another one. Shock troopers are not doing anything to us. There you go. Is that all of them? It sure is. Okay. On to the last one. Yeah, so this is all about just getting rid of Geth. I kind of like it. Not even going to lie. There's a Geth outpost. We're going to start with the furthest. Oh, look at the sun and the moon. What is this, Pokemon? That looks beautiful, though. Not even going to lie. My eyes! Look at that. Like, how can they not be blinded by that? <laughs> That's kind of crazy if you think about it. Like, imagine... If the Earth or the Sun, my apologies, was that close. The moon, too. I mean, look at that moon. It's a super moon right there. Is this going to be a maw? Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, wait a minute. We totally missed out on it. What is this? Is this a geth? Oh, that looks like a skeleton. Yeah, that's a skull. The massive skull is scored by deflected mass accelerator shots. The xenobiology files in your heart suit computer can identify the species. It must have been brought here from an unknown world. What in the world? Legit. Cool as heck. Um, hello? Oh, there it is. Right there? Is that a good shot? Yes, it is. Barely. But we'll take it. Boom. I didn't think I'd be able to destroy that. You guys can shoot my shields as much as you want. Yeah, I gotta maneuver through these dang mountaintops again. There you go. Get up there. Okay. And finally, it'll be the outpost. Gonna dodge it. I ain't no Pokemon, I can't dodge. This way. Why struggle going through the mountaintop when you can simply go through here? And there's the outpost. Hello. Hello, fellow Geth. Yeah, that was, that one is definitely dead. Headshot, there you go. Headshot again. Yeah, but why not? Where's the other one? There you are. Headshot anybody? There's gotta be another one. Oh! Whoa! Where the hell did you come from? Yeah. Oh, you wanna play that game? Oh! What the? Oh my goodness. It gave me a taste of my own medicine. I expect one of these outposts to be the main base of operations for this incursion. Hold up. This receiver is picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. It must be a message from the primary Geth base. We can use the signal to lock onto its location and take them out.
so here we got an anomaly we got the debris and then we got whatever this is okay we're gonna hit the anomaly first oh these geth are not gonna know what hit them well maybe this planet does oh, what, what's going on oh my god we totally just flipped over okay man this planet is actually a little chalky it's not as bad as other planets that we visited, but still kind of chalky. How far are we from this dang base? Oh man, I'm gonna have to maneuver through the mountain. I was totally trying to avoid this. There you go. Okay. Going. Going. Can we ramp? Oh yes, we can. Oh, and we flipped it made ourselves look like fools in front of the guests. There you go. Parkour. Okay. There's a Colossus. This Colossus isn't gonna know what hit it. There you go. You ain't giving me a taste of my own medicine. There you go. Oh, dodge. There you go. There's one. What's up, Colossus? There you go. Don't let, don't give this thing an opportunity to get up. <laughs> just cheese these colossus, and you'll just do fine. Okay, there you go. We got some med gel. Oh, thought I can shoot that one in the head. Or a headshot, so you get pretty good damage and credits. Obviously, you do a lot of damage with this dang turret. Headshot, anybody? Yeah. 75 XP for this one, not the greatest. Yeah. Let's invade these guys. Park in front of the door, just in case, because you never really know. And prepare for these guests to get massacred. Oh, hi. Whoa. That was a close call. Oh, got a couple of scouts. Oh, is, that a, is that a destroyer? Get rid of the destroyer. I don't mind the sappers right now. There's a couple of destroyers. Okay. Oh my god. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Okay, good stuff. Fall back. Fall back real quick. Get rid of the destroyer. Headshot only. Good stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My bad. I thought I was playing Call of Duty for a second. Not gonna lie. There you go. Okay. There's... Oh! Oh! What is that? Is that... That's a trooper, isn't it? That's a rocket trooper? I can't tell. We just... All I know is I gotta watch the big rockets. There you go. And just before we got smacked, too. Yeah, where's the other one? How much more? We got another stalker. Those are the worst, simply because they always dodge. You shoot them once and they run away. There you are. Oh. The last geth falls. You hear music from across the room. On the monitor, monitor a quarian stands before a hushed crowd, warbling a mouthful, a capella of words and innocence lost. The recorded song is dispatched to the geth worlds behind the Pers uh, Persis Veil. Transmitter shuts down. So is that where we gotta go next? The veil, whatever? There's things for us to loot. But, nevertheless, we're gonna call this an episode. I'm gonna loot this place and then go to bed. Because it is actually late and it's a work day. So, I'm gonna be tired as heck tomorrow. Was it worth it? Heck yeah, it was. We killed some guff today. Nevertheless, it's your boy, Daddy Mac. Leave some likes. Subscribe if you want to see more. There's a lot more coming to the channel. I'm actually trying to record a little bit more consistent. And actually, there's the... Let's see what we can do real quick. Before we actually go offline. Stop doing that, Daddy Mac. You do not know what you're doing half the time. No, I do not. Six seconds. There you go. We got some good weapons. What is this? Don't want to do that yet. I feel like I... I guess we're going to do that. It's a Geth Terminal, for God's sake. Okay. You discovered a number of encrypted Geth... Geth? Geth? What's a Geth? 
data files in the proper hands that could reveal much about the evolution of the Geth since the banishment of the Quarians. That's going to be it for this episode. Again, it's your boy Daddy Mac. Leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! 